Yeah, check these fans out. All right, so for the power, I've ordered the Optron uh, cigarette lighter plug, which is like 20 bucks from High Point, and um, it has an elbow connector. So I don't want the one that sticks out like a sore thumb. And these are the features that it has. Um, so this is just a taste. Things to come. When automation doesn't happen, 2 a.m. in the morning, Stay warm with Astro Gear Apparel, AstroGearUSA.com, universe inspired. Hello, welcome back. I was anxious to try out my GSO 12 volt power plug on my new toy. Here you can see it, uh, how that power plug just extrude out. It's kind of crazy looking. However, I imaged what I could. I imaged the uh, Flaming Nebula and the Tadpole Nebula at an image scale at 1.95. It's been a while since I've done any uh, narrow band because my 1600 mm cool is out for repairs. The next day, my Optron 12 volt 3 amp plug arrived. It has a nice elbow connect that I like. It doesn't protrude outwards. As you can see from the GSO standard and the iOptron, they are both the same connects. It's still daylight, right? It already sees a star already. And I'm at one eighth of a second on the shark cap of a gain of 139. And uh, this thing is already picking up a star during daylight. Okay, we're at negative two now. Those fans are just pulsating on and off when it needs to, I guess. You can see the power right there. Okay, we're at two, ooh, negative three Celsius now. Okay, we're at negative 6.5, 7. Target gold is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Just working out my cabling here. You can hear the fans going on. Uh, you can see the power to this elbow connector. I really love this elbow connector here, so doing pretty good. Okay, reach target temperature of negative 10 degrees Celsius. And just touched up some cabling real quick. I really love the harness uh, cable management on this camera and the dual output for 12 volt. So if you need to connect another 12 volt, here you can see it's 12 in and 12 out. <clears throat> Everybody knows the USB 3 and your two USB 2 ports. Um, what's good about this, um, this Optron um, elbow connector here, it's not sticking up, you know what I mean? So that's one thing I love about this, this camera. And not only that, it houses the electronic filter wheel and it's pretty solid tight and everything. So, okay, let me just pucker her up and we shall be shooting for clear skies, hopefully soon. So coming up on the next video, you're going to see some examples. Uh, one with the ASI-94 on the Flaming Nebula with infrared filter. It works, but it gets pretty noisy over in time. Using the 1600 GT with the infrared filter, the results are fabulous. Um, you can do mono composites with it like I've done with the uh, Messier 45. And at the end of this video, I attempt uh, Flaming Nebula and had pulled Nebula as SHO. Enjoy the video, clear skies.
we wanted to see if you had the ability to expand your mind and your horizons. And for one brief moment, you did. For that one fraction of a second, you were open to options you had never considered. That is the exploration that awaits you. Not mapping stars and studying nebula, but charting the unknown possibilities of existence. You'll find out. In any case, I'll be watching. And if you're very lucky, I'll drop by to say hello from time to time. See you out there.